Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to be making easy microwave peanut butter fudge. And all you need is 15 to 16 ounces of vanilla icing. This is sugar free, so this is 15 ounces. Like the regular vanilla icing is 16. It doesn't matter what brand it is. And it don't have to be sugar free. And then 18 ounces of peanut butter. Creamy or the chunky, it doesn't matter. The only thing that we found that it don't work with is the all natural peanut butter that's real runny. You know, with that oil that's on top and you have to stir it and it's real runny. It just don't work with that. It has to be the good thick peanut butter. Now you can swap out your vanilla icing and do chocolate icing with the peanut butter. And it's like a chocolate peanut peanut butter fudge like a Reese cup. We'll be doing another batch with the chocolate frosting instead of the white frosting. You can use one of them no sugar peanut butters as long as it's thick like regular peanut butter. If it's runny like natural peanut butter then it might not work. So all you're going to do is plop 18 ounces of peanut butter and your 15 to 16 ounces of your icing in a microwave safe bowl. We're going to microwave it for a minute. Bring it out. Stir it. Pop it back in for another minute. Bring it back out and stir it, and then we're going to put it in the pan, stick it in the fridge, and let it chill. Okay, here's our peanut butter fudge. Now, as it's cooking in the microwave for the two minutes, you remember you put it in a minute, bring it out, stir it, put it in another minute. It's going to smell like peanut butter fudge cooking in the house. I'm on my 8x8 eight eight, or 9 by 9 square baking dish, or it don't have to be square, it can be round, with a non stick with aluminum foil. Or use wax paper. But if yours ain't the non stick aluminum foil and you use foil, make sure you spray it or butter it real good. Because I've never used just regular foil, I've only used the non stick or the wax paper, and it works for me. Pour it out in our little prepared pan. You can double this recipe and it can go in a 9 by 13 or 10 by 13 pan. Make sure you line it though, because I don't want you to do all that work and then it don't work for you. You're just popping in the microwave, but I don't want you to spend all the time getting these ingredients and spending the money on them and it not work for you. Also, the vanilla icing that you use, because a friend of mine gave me this recipe. I mean, it don't have to be sugar free. Regular vanilla icing. It just cannot be the whipped or the cream cheese icing. It will not set up and it will not work. We have found out. So I want to give you a heads up on that. And then we're just going to stick this in the refrigerator. You can cover it with an, uh, some foil on top. If you've got a lot of stuff in your refrigerator in case something, you know, spills or kids get in there and move this around. At least eight hours or overnight works best for me. Our easy microwave peanut butter fudge is done. I got it out of the refrigerator. It's set up good. Now I just started slicing it. And I'm slicing it into smaller pieces because it is rich. Well, to me and Jamie, it's rich. You cut it to however big squares you want. And remember I used that non-stick aluminum foil. I suggest using that. Or if you use a regular foil, you might have to spray it and butter it real good. I would. I recommend it. I'm going to attempt this without doing that. Or you can line your pan with wax paper. That would be easy too. Let me get you another piece out and I'll hold it up close to the camera so you can see the texture of it. Now it's soft. It's not hard fudge like you would do on the stove. And the kettle and bullet and all that stuff. But it holds its shape and everything. It sits up real good, but it's still a little bit soft. That's how it's going to be. It's not going to get any harder. I recommend storing it in the refrigerator because some houses are hotter than others and it might start melting. And you work so hard to get it to set by placing it in the refrigerator and chilling it overnight. You can use any kind of frosting. You don't have to use the vanilla frosting. Like, I'm going to make a batch with some chocolate frosting with the peanut butter and it'll be chocolate peanut butter fudge. It'll taste like a Reese's cup. 